Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new Warhammer painting video. Now, as per usual with all these videos, if you like them, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, drop a comment down below. I absolutely love hearing back from you guys, and it goes a massive way to help the channel too. So, without further ado, let's crack on with it. So, of course, with the new edition of Warhammer Age of Sigmar coming out recently, it is time that we got painting some of the models from that Dominion box set. So, of course, we're going to start out with the big one. We're going to start off with Indrasta the Celestial Spear. Now, this model is one that stands out to me. It is one of the centerpiece models. Uh, it is a fantastic model. I really, really like it. It's a pretty damn cool one. Um, when it will be available separately from the Dominion box set, who knows. But if you can get your hands on a, an Indrasta, fantastic model. Now, of course, my painting method is not the definitive painting method. It is entirely up to you how you want to do it. So if you want to do her as a part of the Celestial Vindicators, you can do that if you wanted to. Or any of the other storm hosts. But, of course, I'm sticking with the Lions of Sigmar. Now... The reason for this is I already have quite a collection from the Mortal Realms magazine that have been painted up in the Lions of Sigma kind of standard. They are, of course, golden in their Sigmarite armour, and of course they have the purple as well to be part of their storm host. But without further ado, and without any more waffling on, let's jump in to the actual painting. So, I've started off with Mechanica standard base coat all over the model itself. Now this is a great colour to start off with because you're going to be painting up all them stones and steps, everything like that. If you want to paint them up the kind of grey kind of stonework, then this is definitely a good trick to start off with. Start off with that and as I'm doing, dry brush over some Dawnstone over the top of it uh, and this will give you a nice kind of a gradient of grey. And then as a second kind of dry brushing, as a lighter dry brush, use Administratum Grey. It works really, really well and makes the model stand out. Now, as you can see, I haven't fully built the model. Now, there is a good reason for this. Doing it in subsections actually makes it easier to paint. So, it will be a lot better. Now, for the armour, I'm doing something completely different for a Stormcast Eternal from what I would normally do. I am using Rune Lord Brass as a base coat for the armour. Now this gives it a completely different shine and makes the armour look very very different as well. It makes it stand out far far better than in all honesty I would have even imagined. And it makes the character a bit more unique. And with that as a layer, no shade included on this. I am layering up the main panels with Liberator Gold. Now, Liberator Gold is a brighter gold than Retributor Armor, which is the colour that I'd normally go for for Stormcast Armor. And it makes it stand out. It's a really, really good one. Um, just leave all the under bits and all the recesses, and you won't need to put any shade over the top of it, which is a really, really cool one. Now, with all of that, you're going to want to do all the extra kind of mail, the scale mail that she's wearing as well, slightly different, so entirely up to you. Uh, but I used Iron Breaker as a base coat for this, um, just to make it kind of break up all that gold. And then there are little details as well that all I'm doing over, going over and going over the edge highlights with Stormhost Silver. Now, this adds a very very nice kind of shade to the armor and kind of gives it that nice kind of glow uh, and makes it stand out a lot better uh, i also go over the individual scales a little bit with it not going into any recesses and it makes it stand out better for part of the weapons though i have used retributor armor falling back on that standard kind of darker gold uh, it is a very nice shade as well, it goes very very well, and I wanted the weapons to look slightly different from the armour set that she's wearing. And then you're going to want to paint up the flesh, so I use Kislev Flesh as a base coat, layered over there, over her face, use some Reichland Flesh Shade over the top, layered back over with Kislev Flesh, and then as a highlight, for edge highlights, use some um, Pallid Witch Flesh, 
to kind of lighten her up a bit and her facial features. Moving on to the cloak though, all I'm doing is using the usual Nagaroth Knight. Now this works very very well and it fits in with the Lions of Sigmar paint scheme. Now one thing you will notice is the tree I have done, I've used Fondia Brown, I have used Dryad Bark and then I have used a dry brush of Gore 4 Brown as well and it works really really well, it's a nice little colour scheme for that tree. On the inside of a cloak I used Corax White because I don't want the full inside and outside of a cloak to be one shade, I want it to look slightly different so she kind of stands out a little bit better and Corax White is a very very good shade to have on the inside of cloaks. And then going back to the outside of a cloak, layering up with Zerius Purple. This works very very well, it's kind of going over the main flat areas, it breaks up that single shade of purple as well. If you wanted to, you could have done Corax White over the entire lot and used contrast paints, but I don't have that contrast paint. Now, moving on to the wings, base coat them with Corax White. There is a good reason for this, they stand out a lot better uh, because they are meant to be angelic wings and this works very very well. Now I'm using Apothecary White as a kind of a wash over the, the top of all these wings and on the underside as well. You could use Basilicum Grey if you wanted to or even Etheric Blue um, but then you are going to want to go back over with Corax White over the individual uh, feathers and stuff like that for the wings. You can dry brush this and I'm not going to lie, I did all the kind of, I did a lot of the feathers with the painting individually but it's a bit time consuming so I did go to dry brushing eventually, for especially for the inside of the wings. And that is it. So the model, I personally, I think it is one of my best models. I really really enjoy it, I've enjoyed painting it, it is uh, a really really good one. I'm not going to lie, it is probably one of the nicest models to build. Um, the thing for me is I personally sometimes feel a bit of that kind of anxiety about painting up a model like this, which it is a standout showpiece, um, and I do worry about kind of cocking it up and making it look pretty poor. Um, but I personally, I think it is probably one of my better ones. I've really, really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, a good one. Really, really good fun model to paint. Um, I would happily paint another one. I'm not going to lie, I would happily paint probably several of these ca characters um, in different styles and do try and do different things with her. Now, you're going to want to decorate your base, of course, so I've added some schools to it, I've used some static grass tufts, and you're going to want to make sure you do all of that because it makes the model stand out and makes it kind of pop a little bit better as well. Now, that's it from me. Um, I have many other things that I would like to have done with that model, which is why I might get a second one if I can get my hands on one for not too stupid a price, um, for some different things. So who knows, if I get another one, I'll do another video uh, and we'll, make, we'll show something different with it. Right, thank you very, very much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. If you've painted up one of these, I have a Discord server you can share your photo on as well of what you've painted up of these, or you can just join it, have a bit of fun in there. It is all Warhammer related at the moment. You can post other tabletop games if you wanted to, I don't mind, um, but it is a very chill, fairly quiet community at the moment because there's not a lot of people in there, but it's entirely up to you if you want to join it. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll um, catch you very, very soon. Bye-bye now.